Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to continue on the fundamentals of creating a minimalistic UI. And I'm going to focus on creating a window in this, this session. Last time we created a progress bar and I show you how to actually increment the value by using either, you know, a slider that we had or by doing it through code. So what I want to focus on this one is I want to create a window. So we have two bounds, we have the progress bar. And so I'm going to do something similar that we did last time, except this time I'm going to do, let's actually just do a rectangle. And then I'm going to do, so here's my window. And if you, if you look at the properties, I, I'm going to uncheck this so it doesn't constrain to every single cor corner. And I'm going to add five on the top, maybe, maybe something bigger. Let's do 15. And then we can do 15 on the top, right? Because I want to create a kind of a, yeah, like a window. And then the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to, let's actually undo this. Let me do it a little differently. So I'm going to create another component and I'm going to do around the rectangle. We're actually just put it on the top. And then on the one on the bottom, I'm going to do zero, zero. The reason why I want to do it this way is because I want to control the the basically the corners of the top of the window independently of the bottom so we just need to resize this just a tiny bit excellent and maybe a little bit more so i'm going to zoom in okay and then the borders are bugging me a little bit so let's go into and do let's actually just do one i'll do the same thing on this other one excellent and let's remove the border on the one from the bottom. Okay. Not the border, but the actual radius. Okay, excellent. And I think I need to resize it just a tiny bit more. There we go. Excellent. And I'm going to just move, let's move this down a tiny bit. Okay, so let's create a new layer. So I'm going to group these two and I'm going to say window. And this one is the top. This one is the bottom. So on the one on the top, I'm gonna change the, the fill value. And I'm gonna bring my color picker and then just select the color that we did for the play button. Hit okay, excellent. So that's basically my window. So let's actually just size a move it so that it aligns with everything else. I'm going to resize it just a tiny bit. There you go. So everything aligns properly with the other buttons. And then now I'm just going to hit save. So now let's go into Unity. And we're going to have to slice this image one more time. So I'm going to go Art, UI, Sprite Editor. And instead of using the automatic approach, because I don't really want to delete these ones. I might I might get issues if I do that. I'm just going to manually do it. So I'm going to drag and create a rectangle just by left clicking and dragging. And I'm just going to size it properly. I think that works fine. Excellent. And then I'm just going to hit apply. So that should create a new sprite and then close it. And now we have our new sprite. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a a new UI component by right clicking on the canvas and then in this case I'm also going to create an empty so let's do an empty and then it's going to be a window and then inside of that empty we're going to create an image and then this one is going to be our image excellent and I'm going to click on save native size so it basically sizes everything correctly so I'm going to basically put my scene panel back in place so that I can see the whole thing. For my window, I want to, I'm going to move it down. We can just put it right there so that we can focus on it. And then, so that's going to be negative 782. So we can change that. Then the image looks like it's all sized correctly. Excellent. And that's perfect. So we can call this one background. And then I need another component, so I'm going to right click on window and then text. 
and this is going to be my header. And in this case, I don't want to center the text, so I'm going to actually change that, and I'm going to use the top left corner to place it, so I'm going to do top left on the anchor, and then zero, zero. Perfect, and I don't think that it's correct. Let me see why. Oh, I see why. It's because of the outer window, so we need to size it. Remember what we did with the bond? We need to do exactly the same thing with with the window. Okay, I think, I think I'm happy with something like that. We can do 743 and then 615, should be fine. Now, the position, I'm gonna do 00, zero and we can actually just go back down. So I'm going to do negative 700 and move it down a tiny bit more. Let's do negative 800. Excellent, but my, my text is all run now. And let me see what I did. Okay, that's that's fine. We still need to offset it, so I'm going to do a little bit of an offset here. We can do something like that, then we'll, we'll fix the, I we'll have to fix the sizing as well. So I want this to actually go all the way, all the way there, and then right about there, right about there. We can actually change this to do the stretch on the top, which is perfect. And then I'm going to change the font size to something like that. I'm going to size it just a tiny bit. And then let's actually change this. And I'm gonna do vertical, center vertically, and then also on the center. Okay, so we can size this right about there. Perfect, and let's change the color to be white so we can see the text. And this is gonna be, I, you'll, I normally use brackets whenever I'm gonna do a variable for that. So I'm gonna say window title and then programmatically we'll change the title of the window. The size is not quite right. Let's do, I think 35 should be fine. Okay, excellent. So I got my I got my header, I got my background, and I have my window. So now I want to control this window title. I'm gonna add some other animations in, in the in the next episode, but for now, I'm just gonna add a script that represents the window, and then that script is gonna allow us to modify the title of the window. So I'm going to go into my scripts. We did a progress bar, so this time let's do a window. Excellent. And we're gonna basically associate that window script with the window game object. And the script has not be found. Okay, let's see what happens. So let's double click it. To open it up. And window, looks like that's fine. Let's do it, let's try it one more time. Window, okay, excellent. It just needed to compile. Excellent, so I want to control the title. So to control the title, I want to create a new, a new variable. So I'm gonna do private string and then window title. And I'm gonna serialize this field so that we can control it. And then by default, I'm just gonna say window title if I haven't set it. We can in, we can in fact just do, actually that, that's fine, that should work just fine. Then in star, I'm going to, I also need to associate my, my text. So I'm going to do private text. And then in the text value, I need to pass in the variable. So this is going to be header title. And I'm going to also serialize that field. And remember, I need to bring in Unity Engine UI. And I like that. Perfect. And then on star, we can just do header title that text equal window title. And we don't need an update method for now. Just cleaning this up. And I think I'm happy. I'm happy with that. Excellent. So let's go into the game object now and let it compile. And you should see a couple of more options. So the header title, it's going to have to be this header title. So this is gonna be my text. 
So a lot of times I want to specify, let's actually do header text component so that we know that this is a component and then this one's gonna be window header title. Let me just replace those. Excellent, and let's go back into Unity. And let it compile one more time. Cool, and we can just reassociate the header and then my title on this window. I'm gonna say that this is, this might be, say this is my settings. Settings, I think that's fine. Excellent, so now let's, let's hit play and let's see what happens. And if you go, if you go and look at it, it's already automatically associated the settings with the settings with the title that I gave it. So that looks like that's all working just fine. So that's all I'm gonna do in this session. So just to recap, we created a new C Sharp script, which is gonna contain the window and some of the attributes that we can assign to the window. In the in the next video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna basically hook up the settings button with this window so that we can open it up. And then in some of the future lessons, I'm gonna add some options to animate the window and change basically the curve of the animation. So that's everything I wanted to mention in this video. If you guys have any questions, let me know through the comments and don't forget to subscribe and share this video. Thank you.